All right, y'all, it's AGP here. So, you know, it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this past week, CD Projekt Red has officially became the front runners for game developers that have zero to give, basically. The lead quest designer, Powell Sasko, was like, surprised? We don't around. What he is referring to is that in the last week we finally got a rating for Cyberpunk 2077 which we kind of could have already guessed from the stuff that we had seen anyways even from the deep dive trailer and the 45 minute gameplay from a year or two ago whenever that was. Because there's basically nothing in Cyberpunk 2077 that you can't do. It's obviously a dystopian society that takes place in the future and you know what better place to start with that than sex and drugs and corruption so obviously it'll more than likely be a 17 plus in the u.s which is mature rating it'll just get that m stamp worldwide they had created an r18 classification some years back in australia it was 2013 january 1st 2013 so on New Year's, they were like, oh, we're we, we going to do this right now. Brazil will also be pretty much giving it an R18 plus classification rating, which means that, you know, people who are not 18 years old will not be allowed to buy it without providing proof that they're 18 years old. Now, if you were to look up what the R18 plus classification is, it would give you this, which is the definition essentially, or what it consists of. R18 plus material is restricted to adults. Such material may contain classifiable elements such as sex scenes and drug use that are high in impact. Some material classified R18 plus may be offensive to sections of the adult community, which again is pretty much a given. As stated before in many a headlines and by the designers and creators of the game, Cyberpunk 2077 will feature nudity, it will elicit drugs, and intense sexual relations amongst many other things, which I will show you soon. Uh, there's actually a full-on list, and you know, it consists of a lot of things that would make sense for an R18 plus classification rating. Those things consist of weapons without violence, moderate or hinted use of illicit drugs, weapon with violence, criminal action without violence, description of consume of illicit drugs, derogatory language, verbal aggression, violent acts, sexual pleasurement, consume or illicit drugs, violence description, exposure to danger, exposure to death corpse, body injury, foul language, sexual language, blood, I didn't know there was a difference between foul language, sexual language, and derogatory language, but I description of illicit drug consumption or trafficking. Now we got into 14 plus. Sexualization, description of illicit drug consumption or trafficking, sexualization, sexual exploitation, intentional death, nudity, prostitution, sexual relationship, consume of illicit drugs, mutation mutilation, intense sexual relations, suicide, and cruelty, which is wild. Now if I had a dollar for every time they had something related to sex well i'd only be about seven dollars richer but the point is it's about a fourth of a list that only has about 30 things on it yeah all oh, that is kind of wild so that seems pretty worthy of an m rating as far as i am concerned so r18 plus it away and that is good news for those of y'all in brazil and or australia where you know, they ban games places, so, you know, it's good news. You will not have this game banned, and that's really great for all of us as a community because later on when the multiplayer comes out, that means we'll all be on it. Not only is this good news to us as a community, but it's also good news to the developers of the game. According to GameSpot, developer CD Projekt Red spokesperson Kuber Kutsuba told GameSpot that it was a relief to get the green light to be sold in Australia. His quotes went on to say, Receiving an age rating in Australia was an important milestone on our way to releasing the game in September. We're creating a mature title for a mature audience, so we were expecting R18+. Plus. We haven't had to alter the game in any way, and Australian gamers are set to enjoy the full Cyberpunk 2077 experience. But that is dope, so we will all be looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077. September 17th, 2020 is the release date. Let's pray that it stays that way. I'm going to catch you next time, all right? Peace.